There it is, folks. The 302 UBH. That's for ultralight bunkhouse. It's an outback ultralight bunkhouse. That's a three-year structural warranty from the factory. It has the 30-gallon propane tanks, two of them. Power tongue jack so you don't have to get out there and turn a crank or anything like that. It's got uh, power leveling as far as power stabilizers. So you, when you stabilize it, it is uh, power. You don't have to manually do anything. This has the solid step. That's what they call it, and that's what it is, and a nice handle. So when you get in and out, it's very uh, uh, easy to uh, get in and out of there. And this one has an outdoor kitchen on it. So there's a little small fridge and a, uh, a stove here. There it is. Look at that. Two burners right here. And then there's a couple of cubby holes where you can keep things, spices, different uh, utensils, whatever you got. It's got a big awning, outdoor speakers. It's the Outback by Keystone. It's solar ready, pre-wired for Zamp Solar. You can just plug in a Zamp Solar panel, the 302 UVH with the Arctic Barrier got some nice alloy wheels so let's step inside by the way my name is Duke I'm your host today here are some high-tech graphics that's my phone number you can send me a text I'll be happy to assist you I'm in Houston Texas and we've got a campground here if you want to check out this unit it is available for sale you can come by uh, purchase it stay overnight in our campground we make a deal in advance but uh, in the bedroom we got a wardrobe on each side we're starting in the bedroom inside because that's where it all starts baby and uh queen size bed lots of storage up over there another wardrobe over on the other side and look at that you got i'm gonna zoom what get ready there is a usb and 110 outlet right there this side okay gary i'm gonna zoom again that is the 110 all right so there's an entry into the uh, bathroom right here from the bedroom. There's also one when you, uh, it's a pass-through bath. So you can get into the bedroom without going through the bathroom or you can pass through it. Uh, it's got the corner shower, well-positioned toilet. So in sales, we're supposed to tell you about the features and the benefit. The feature is it's well-positioned. The benefit is when you're sitting down, it's, very, it's more comfortable. See that PEX plumbing, that's that blue plumbing. That's what this has, PEX plumbing. That's what they use in houses. I think it holds up to like negative 10 degrees. You can see the PEX plumbing underneath there. So it's it's less likely to freeze. Let's take a look at this shower. Okay, this one, uh, it's got a nice skylight. There is the, the fixture. A little bit of rainfall action going there. That's a nice, nice size shower. And uh, it has the Thomas Paine theater seats. Those are very comfortable. I'm gonna sit in them just to demonstrate how comfortable they are. Wow, this is very comfortable. Did you see that demonstration? And you're sitting directly across from the TV. What I did is I kind of pulled it out, it's on a swivel, so it's directly across from the theater seats. You could put it back. So if you're over on the dinette, or cooking, you can angle it to where you can see it from there. Try not to move the camera too fast. Get storage up above there. Move the camera down. Get ready. There it is. That's the fireplace. It's electric. It's a nice visual, and it also will uh, uh, put out some heat if you want to use electric heat. Of course, this has a propane heater. Now, when you walk in the door, there's this huge. Uh, storage here with a place to hang clothes so this if you got a lot of clothes well this might be just the answer for you because sometimes that's an issue in a travel trailer you could use that little those little places there if you want to throw some shoes up in there when you come in and out leave your uh, slippers your house slippers in there to put on when you come inside the trailer not to track in dirt there's your fuse panel down there all right sorry about moving the camera don't say too much. i don't need to hear comments about that i know i know some people don't like that. All right, so here we go. Uh, there is the dinette. Again, this Thomas Paine uh, furniture is nice uh, and is very comfortable. Oh, 
by the way, while we're here, there's my uh, contact information again on the iTech graphics. So we've got a 12-volt uh, fridge in this one and, and freezer. It's, it's a deep freezer. Fairly deep, look. That's, that's a deep freeze. And a uh, three-burner cooktop, three-on cooktop, and an oven if you want to make a pizza. You got your microwave up there. You know how that works. I don't have to explain that one to you. Here's some pantry space. This goes back pretty far in here. There's a shelf back there, but there's also a lot of space up in front of it. There is another uh, little pantry area. And then you have this little uh, thing here where it uh, rolls out if you want to... Uh, Hold on, I'm going to put the camera down. Don't freak out. I'm still here. Don't freak out. Stay calm. I'm just fixing this thing. Well, I'm not fixing it very right, so I'm sorry for, your, for taking so long to do that. Okay, here we go. So this uh, this goes right here. You know how it works. You can uh, rinse dishes off and you still use this as a cutting board area. And it just rolls up. It's, it's kind of convenient. Uh, so that's kind of nice. A little too long on that one. I'm going to have to edit that maybe. There's a wine rack up there. All right, so this is the... 302 UBH. This thing weighs about 7,200 pounds. So that, the U stands for ultralight. The BH is bunkhouse. And we're in the bunkhouse. You walk in and you are just bombarded with storage. Look at all this storage. You've got places to put stuff there. There's a cabinet door there. Four drawers. And uh, so this lower bunk here is easier to get in and out of. And it's wider. Then you've got the two bunks here up on the top, and each one of them has its own window, which is a nice touch. And then there's another large window over here. And another thing about this uh, RV, if you look at the, the ceiling, it's a five inch radius. It's got an arch. So even if you're not tall, it, it's just it makes it much more roomy. If you if it was just going flat across there, uh, it really it looks a lot different. This looks a lot more roomier. It's uh, spacious so that is it it's the 302 UBH Outback it's made by Keystone there's my contact information if you're interested in this one we can make a deal on the phone get a deposit from you and come over here pick it up we'll have it all ready to go for you and then uh, you can spend the night in our campground check it out for a couple of days no problem thank you very much